Hey there everyone, thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching. I'm being asked about this topic every once in a while, so I thought I'd give it a proper video. And we are going to create a side-to-side -side VPN between two unified devices. In this case, it's going to be a UDM Pro and a UDM Base, but it can be a mixture of unified devices, even a USG, it doesn't matter. But the reason I'm, I'm saying I'm going to give it a proper video is because there are a lot of other videos out there on YouTube that describe or walk through the process of creating a side-to-side -side VPN tunnel in Unify and they're all great, they're all correct, they're all uh, doing what they're supposed to do, but I think they're missing the complete picture and the complete picture, as far as I see it, is managing the traffic on the side-to-side -side VPN tunnel. I'm going to do it via creation of firewall rules. Now, if you haven't watched my video on managing firewall rules in uh, Unify, definitely go ahead and watch this video. I'm going to put a link to it in the top right corner. I'm going to continue a method I'm describing over on that video right here, so definitely give it a watch. In summary, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create firewall rules on both sides that will block the traffic on the VLANs on each side. And the reason I'm doing it is because I want the minute the side-to-side -side VPN tunnel is up, I'm going to, I want to allow no villain on both sides to talk to each other. Once the VPN tunnel is up, I'm going to create ex an explicit firewall rules to allow only the traffic that I want to allow over on the VPN tunnel. I don't want to create a situation where by default, once the VPN tunnel is up, all villains on both on each side can talk to uh, all villains on uh, the other side. This is not something I want to do. And unless you're managing it with firewall rules, by the way, there are other ways to do it, but I find that managing it via firewall rules is the most manageable solution. So without further ado, let's jump over to the source side of my uh, UDM Pro. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over to the network application. I'm going to do everything on the new uh, settings menu because that's where Unify wants us to go, to the settings menu. And then I'm going to go over to traffic, global threat management, and scrolling down to firewall. I'm going to go over to LAN. And I'm going to scroll down and create a new group. And I'm going to create it remote, VPN, VLANs, just so I would know what this group is all about. I'm going to create it as a, a IPv4 subnet, and I'm going to specify the subnets or the internal networks over on the remote side. So in this, in my case, it will be 10.31.80.0/24. And 10.31. Dot thirty one dot ninety nine dot zero on a twenty four subnet. I'm going to click on apply changes and now I'm going to go onto uh, the LAN section of the firewall and create a new rule. I'm going to do it on LAN in. I'm going to name it block VPN. VLANs, so I would know what this uh, firewall rules is doing. Sorry, block, uh, uh, let's say, call it source to VPN VLAN. So I will know the direction. I'm going to create uh, 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 two directions, uh, uh, two firewall rules on both directions. I'm going to uh, uh, set the action to drop. The source will be I have a group for my VLANs, Wasteland VLANs, that's all, that's a group of all my internal, what I consider to be internal networks, destination, group, VPN VLANs, apply, and here is the firewall rule. I'm also going to create a reverse rule, block VPN VLANs to source. But by the way, I, I wouldn't really name it like this in production, just for the, the demonstration purposes, purposes of this video. Again, the action is drop source. This time it will be 
VPN, VLANs, and the destination group will be Wasteland VLANs. Here you can see the two rules that we've created. This will make sure that once the tunnel is up, no traffic on the tunnel will be able to go through even though the tunnel is connected. All right, so jumping over to the remote side and I'm going to do the exact same thing. Going over to settings, traffic and security, global threat management, firewall, and I'm going to create a group, VPN VLANs, addresses, that's the IoT VLAN of my UDM Pro, that's great. Again, going over to the firewall and creating two firewall rules on the LAN in, block source. This time the source is the remote side. Source to VPN VLANs. And actually I've, I didn't create a group for the local VLANs. So let me do it right, uh, right now. All right, so we're creating the rule block source to VPN VLANs drop source is local VLANs destination and the destination will be VPN and apply I'm going to make sure that these uh, rules that we, we are creating right now will be on the bottom of the, uh, of the table because firewall rules are being processed top to bottom. I'm going to create the reverse rule. Block VPN to source drop. VPN to local. All right, making sure the rules are on the bottom, that's great. And now that we have created, uh, let's say, the preliminary uh, infrastructure to creating the VPN tunnel, now it's the time where we'll go to actually create uh, 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 the VPN tunnel. The first thing that we need to take note of is on both sides uh, the public IP address you are given uh, from your ISP in, in enterprise environments uh, they're actually doing it in, in a whole other way there are several interfaces that are aggregated to do only VPN traffic uh, in, in this case it's a much smaller uh, network so we'll use our internet our WAN interface all right I've, I, I got uh, the IP address. I'm going to jump over back to my UDM Pro. Settings, networks, add a new network. And let's call it S2S, S2 site-to-site, -to -site. VPN advanced. This is what we want. We want to do a site-to-site. -site. Manual IPsec, that's what we're keeping. Pre-shared key is something that, again, you'll need to take note of. Now, we are going to specify right here the remote networks over on the remote side. So the tunnel will know how to route them. They, they, it will add it to, the, to its routing table. That's the first one. And that's the second one. And the remote IP address is the WAN IP address over out at the remote side. All right. Actually, in advanced, the only thing that I'm going to change 
uh, and that I'm going to change, sorry, is to use Ike version 2. And actually, just for, to keep it as simple as possible, I'm not going to do, uh, to touch anything over on this side, just so you know, you can increase uh, the encryption level from one, from, for example, from uh, 128 to 256, and you can increase the hash algorithm, and uh, the more security or the more you increase the encryption, the, the traffic will be more secure, but it will impact performance. So it's up to you uh, 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 to find the, the, the combination that's right for you. For this demonstration, I'm not going to touch anything else. I'm going to add network. All right, I'm going to take note of the UDM Pro public IP address and I'm going to jump over to the remote side to create the tunnel over on the remote side. Going over to networks. All right, so we'll click on add network. Again, name it STS. Click on advanced on VPN, site to site. Manual IPsec, that's great. Now in this field right here, this actually should be taken from the source side that we just did and be, you should copy the value from the source side and paste it right here. I have already copied it to my notepad and I'm going to delete everything and paste the value I've taken from the source side. This is something that is, if you're not, if you don't do it, the VPN tunnel will not be established. It will fail to connect. All right. Continuing, and now we'll specify the local VLANs over of, of at the UDM Pro side. All right, so we got all the IP addresses. We got the remote IP address, public IP address of the remote side. Going over to advanced and remembering to change this side as well to Ike V2. And we're going to add network. Now, at this point, if everything is done exactly the same on both sides, the VPN tunnel should be uh, already established. Now, in Unify, there's not really much indication, not on the main dashboard or anything, uh, uh, there's not much indication that the VPN tunnel is actually up. And if we'll go over to a, 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 a demo virtual machine I have prepared, and I launch command prompt and try to ping, for example, something on the LAN over the, so, uh, uh, or the remote side, I'm actually going to fail, but don't uh, keep in mind that we've not yet created firewall rules to allow the traffic. And this is exactly what we're going to do right now. So we are all, uh, already on the remote side. Let's go over and create a rule to allow only a certain VLAN to go through. Let's go to the LAN side. LAN in, allow remote IoT to LAN, for example. All right, so the source, uh, the action, sorry, is accept. The source network is my remote side LAN network. And the destination, let's say it will be 192.168.99.0 dot zero slash 24 let's create it as a group and uh, let's say vpn iot that's great and then i'm going to create the reverse rule which will be allow len to vpn iot That's great. Now, what I want to make sure that I do is to move these allow rules to the top of the table, because again, firewall rules are being processed top to bottom. And now I'm going to create the same thing over on the source side, on the UDM Pro. Jumping over to settings, traffic and security, firewall, LAN and let's create the rules LAN in and let's say 
allow IoT to VPN except source network will be my IoT and my destination in this case I'm going to specify let's create a new group you know what for this VLAN VPN LAN which will be 10.31.80.0 that's great so we'll allow we'll allow IoT on the source side to the LAN on the destination side and then we are going to create the reverse rule, of course. LAN in. Allow VPN LAN to IoT, except source will be VPN LAN destination network IoT. So now, after all this gruesome work, we should now have a, an established VPN site-to-site -site tunnel with only a subset of the traffic that we have defined to allow, uh, allow it to go through. One last thing that I must remember to do is to move these allow rules to the top. And now let's go back over to the uh, uh, demo, demo virtual machine that we have and try to ping again. Ping 0.31.80.2 and we have ping going over uh, to the, uh, across the tunnel. Let's try to ping the other VLAN on the, on the destination side. 0.31.99.2 I know there's a, a client on this network now according to our v, our VP our sorry our firewall rules this traffic should not be allowed uh, uh, to go through and we should not get a reply back and again we are not getting it so guys this is how I create a site-to-site -side VPN tunnel but I'm doing it as a complete picture and managing the traffic over on the VPN tunnel with proper uh, firewall rules to only allow the exact uh, uh, traffic that I want to allow on the, on the tunnel and not just allowing everything to talk to everything, which is a, uh, really a bad practice. I hope this was informative, guys, and I'll see you all on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.